Okay, so now we are in script number two. Here we will load the Modis NDVI collection and filter it, scale it, and try to visualize one image from the collection. So first we'll try to search for this collection mod 13Q1. And there are different versions of it. The version 006 is the latest version of the collection with the latest algorithm. So we'll use this one. And let's look at the bands here. It's got the NDVI band, EVI band, and a bunch of other bands. We are interested in the NDVI band here. Uh, you can see the min and max value ranges from minus 2000 to 10,000. If you've seen your intro to remote sensing class, the NDVI values or any other normalized difference index values range from minus one to one. So why the values are so large here? And the reason is that you can see the scale values here. So the actual values, the pixel values need to be multiplied by the scale values to arrive at the real NDVI values. And the reason for that is that rather than storing NDVI as a floating point numbers, the providers typically store them as integers. So they multiplied by a large number like 10,000 and you get the pixel values which are large. And this is to save space because integers take much lesser space than floating point numbers. So we'll just have to convert this ourselves. Okay, for now, let us import this. I'm going to name it Modis. The first step, let's just filter it to a date range. We'll use 2010 for this example. So we'll just say apply a date filter and we'll do it from 2010, 0, 01, 0, 01 to 2011, 0, 01. And let's just print it to see what it contains. So you can see it contains 23 elements. Uh, these are each individual images uh, representing 16 days. This is a 16 day composite. So you can see this each image starts uh, at one day, goes up to 16 days and then the next image starts. So we have a composite image every 16 days for all of 2010. Next step, if you look at this images here, they have all these different bands here. We just want to select the NDVI band here. So we'll just say Mortis DVI was filtered, select the NDVI band. Uh, it's all case sensitive, so make sure you type it in all caps. And now let me just print Mortis NDVI just to make sure we have got the right bands here. So now you can see the new collection contains only the NDVI band. So now we'll uh, extract one image out of it just to visualize and what we can see it on the map. So we'll just do an image, say modus NDVI dot first. This will take the first element out of this one. We need to cast it to an image. So we'll just say ee dot image. And now we have uh, the first image from the collection as uh, stored in this image variable. Let's visualize it. But before visualizing, remember the values, the pixel values need to be scaled. So we'll just say, we'll do a scaled image. And that can be done just by multiplying the image by the scaling factor. So now we are done. We have a NDVI image. Let's define our uh, visualization parameters. NDVI is range from minus one to one, but uh, for visualization, this is like zero as the min. Most features on Earth won't have uh, uh, very negative NDVI values. We'll do max as 0 0.7. And we need a palette. Let's do a simple white to green palette. Here, the white values will be mapped to zero or lesser NDVI values. 0.7 will be mapped to green and higher NDVI values. And any values between those two will be interpolated to a color between this palette. So we'll add it to the map and see what it looks like. And you can see on the map now, this is a global data set. So we have a global 16 day composite of NDVI. And you can see the greener the area, the higher the NDVI here. Great, so now 
let's move on to the next script where we'll scale not only one image, but the entire collection. And we'll try to chart one points in DBI over the entire year. So see you in the next video.